going on cancer this is solomon i want to welcome you to your weekly reading for the week of february the 13th to the 19th of 2017 all right so before i even started shuffling um i was about to start and the three of cups popped up okay and three of cups as you know is about um harmony and celebrations it's about uh joy around friendships and your relationships around the home you know extreme joy when you are maybe thinking about things you're planning certain things that then things kind of come together sometimes it's an out of the blue invitation um engagements uh, weddings um baby showers uh, your party something like that you could be going to um but this energy could be uh, in many different ways all right so three people um you could be surrounded by all right so um, let's uh, try to shuffle the cards. I, I try to, I have been trying to give energies for the week of February, the uh, for the week, Monday through Sunday, but I haven't been doing that because the cards have been popping out. So I'm going to try to see if I can get through with you so we can go from Monday through uh, Sunday. So the sun, okay, will still be in Aquarius, and that is bringing out your uh, eighth house of death, transformation, rebirth, sex, debt. Taxes, um, legal matters, and joint resources. Uh, this time brings about a lot of uh, heavier energies and emotions uh, that may be uh, pulling out a lot of healing uh, within you, okay? Um, as well, Venus and Mars is going to be in Aries until around the, the 3rd of March of 2017, activating energies in your 10th house of career, public status, uh, career goals, new opportunities, um, and activities within your community, providing your talents and outward expression all right so let's see if we have for you for monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday through sunday cancer let's try you okay cancer So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday to Sunday. Hmm, interesting. So let's talk about um, these three cards here. So this is going to be Monday and uh, Tuesday. So Monday and Tuesday, the moon is in Virgo, bringing out your third house of communication within your immediate environment, you know, around siblings, your neighbors, visits from others around the, um, the home, friends and family, then random pop-ups may come about around this time. So here, you know, Virgo is going to bring out energies where you are, you know, working, maybe very busy, and then it could be a lot of... Um, heavy communication uh, coming around your home and you could be communicating with someone that you want to it gives you the ability to express what's on your mind so you have the two of wands the seven of uh, wands and then you have the hangman in reverse so here's a lot of planning you are thinking about some uh, foresight you're thinking about the future you're thinking about um you know achieving different goals uh, planning maybe with your partner maybe you're planning for something in the future for a lot of you the near future uh, something that in, in tandem with your partner but the seven of wands here is still maybe a lot of you are thinking about something that you want to say from someone because you are feeling indecisive about a relationship that you're wanting to connect with i believe that i'm not sure i think taurus had the same kind of uh these three cards i'm not really sure i think they did and there is something like you're staying busy doing a whole lot of different things but something is still on your mind that you may not want to address it just yet like you want to but you're not able to so something going on there so we do have a seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so three so it's about growth uh building um achievements initial achievements and expansion so a lot of you are maybe trying to expand your business you're trying to expand maybe in your relationships with others so many different things so a lot of contemplation going on as well on monday and tuesday all right so cancer for wednesday and thursday we do have the moon in a libra bringing out your fourth house of home and family and we have here 
the world is in reverse. We have the five of cups in reverse, and then we have the stars in major arcana in reverse. So two major arcanas here. Uh, I feel like a lot of you are going through some changes, a lot of healing that's taking place. A lot of times the world is a lack of closure and completion of cycles when it does deal with someone from your past. A lot of times this could be someone that you're currently dealing with, but a lot of past memories that you have been hurt from. If you have hurt someone and you're needing to forgive yourself, forgive them and find that hope. You know and that happiness again but it's like a progression that's taking place some um, finding closure you know finding forgiveness and then trying to heal things in the best way that you can the world is a lack of um, being able to move forward to get out into the world because you may still be attached to a certain person and uh finding it very um hard or extremely difficult to move on from them but i feel like a lot of you are needing to whether this is moving on completely or you know getting to know uh, your partner in a deeper more intimate way and you could be kind of separated from them maybe you're wanting to or needing to travel maybe there's some distance between you two there's like a, a lack of hope a lack of faith that you'll be able to reconnect or connect in the way that you would really like to so uh, these energies here are adding up to see so we have the eight what's this the eight we have nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and we have fourteen fifteen sixteen that's a seven so a seven is about reflection contemplating you're waiting for things to kind of unfold and a uh, kind of hill so a lot of contemplation that's going on wednesday and thursday okay so uh, those are your energies all right for i believe this is friday and sunday we do have the moon and scorpio bringing out your fifth house of love uh, creativity entertainment around children romance and friendships all right so you have here you have the devil in reverse, you have the six of swords in reverse, and then you have the wheel of fortune in reverse. So here is like that that need to break away from something that has been holding you down. Say if you have a new opportunities in love or relationship or the opportunity to forgive so that you can heal that relationship or marriage that you're in. The universe is trying to let you know to let go of these thoughts that you have about the past about uh, being hurt about being neglected ignored or not um having that sense of peace when it comes to the harmony between you and another person like a lot of you if you are have you having um addictions to drinking sexual addictions uh, addictions in a relationship where you just can't let someone go you know that they're not healthy for you you know that it may have been just a sexual relationship or something that has been a fling or something like that you know is not good for you some of you are having a troubles with letting that kind of relationship go and moving into uh, different things but i feel like timing is going to be a part of this process so um mentally something is really bothering you and i feel like it's going to be a struggle um, because of that Scorpio moon, you know, it's going to have you purge a lot of um, things. And then this is about, you know, your creativity, about romance and things like that. So it could be surrounding a certain person. Aquarius, they were Gemini. Okay. Because you're dealing with that sword energy here. But I feel like some negative influences, some lessons that are needed to be learned, and some patience is necessary. All right. So let's see what the romance angels have for you for this week. A message. Romance angels, is a message for... Well, we have forgiving and learning. Okay. As you heal, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. And we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So here are two energies where I kept talking about forgiving someone, or forgiving uh, someone maybe from your past or someone new that you're trying to get to know and move on from that scenario. And I feel like this is possibly someone new or this could be your current partner that you're needing to forgive. Um, because they may be doing their own thing. You may be separated right now and there's a need to find, um, energy to heal some kind of rifts, those wounds that need to be moved on from. And it's going to take some time, but I do feel like a lot of you are attracted to someone uh, very strongly, but it doesn't mean that uh, the feelings of our hurt is not going to be there. So it's going to take some time. All right. So I do hope that these messages resonated with your situation. If you would like a private reading, you can always come to me via my Facebook page or you can email me to set something up that's going to be specific for you. Much love and much light, care, sir.